Right, morning and welcome to this week's video. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at a real powerhouse of a power bank that is tiny, but still powerful. We're gonna be taking a look at the S300 by All Powers. So the S300 is a really portable and fairly lightweight power station. It's got a 288 watt per hour capacity and it has an AC output of 300 watts. So that basically means you can power a small camping fridge for about six hours. You can recharge your iPhone 30 to 40 times or you can recharge your laptop about four to five times. So you've got five ways to recharge this power station. So you've got an Anderson connector here which can connect a multitude of different uh, inputs there including solar panel. You've got an input here which can connect to a 240, 110, 12 volts and then you've also got a USB-C just on the side here which is an input and an output. So to use the S300 you've got three buttons on the front here so the first one turns on the Bluetooth there so you can actually control this uh, this device by an app there by turning your AC your DC off uh, you're activating the emergency lights and things on the front there. The next button is your DC so that you'd press that and then you your, your, your LCD will come on on the front there. That will tell you the time that you've got left at that current draw. It'll tell you your battery percentage and how much wattage that you're actually using. Now, the next button is your AC. So you press and hold that button there until it bleeps. You can hear the fan kick in and then that activates your AC ports on the top there. So I got hold of the S300 to power my diesel heater through the winter and there's enough power in this little power station here to power the, uh, the diesel heater for 24 hours solid so there's plenty enough power inside of this. So outputs on the S300 so you've got your 12 volt cigarette lighter on that side there, you've got your two 240 DC plugs on the side there, you've got three USB-A and a USB-C and then you've also got a DC output on that side. And then on the front of the device, you've got the possibility of wireless charging. But it does have to be in exactly the right position before you get that ding and it starts to charge. So the S300 comes with a 240 or a 110 charger wherever you are in the world and it comes in this little case which is absolutely perfect to keep all of your cables and everything inside. So the S300 retails at £179.99 and that's direct from All Powers and I'll stick a link to them in the description below there. So as it's a nice sunny day, let's get the solar panel out and let's look at recharging it using the solar panel. So the panel we've got to charge the S300 is the SP027 by All Power. So this is a 100 watt foldable solar panel. As you can see, it folds up, it's durable, it's waterproof, and it doesn't weigh that much. It's about three and a half kilos. It's just, it is a bulky old thing. If you turn this around, you can see you've got a little pouch on the side here. So you've got, it comes with loads of different cables. So you can plug this in to charge a multitude of different devices. So opening up the pouch on the back there, you can see you've got your cables inside. So that's your, your Anderson connection that you've got into there. You've then got another lead there and you've got some adapters as well. So you can fit that onto loads of other different devices. You've got your standard solar panel connectors that come out of there, male and female. So you basically just plug them directly into there and then we'll set the panel up into the sun. So opening up the solar panel with the Velcro strap there, you've got on the back, I'll just turn that round so you can see what we're looking at here. You've got your pouch with all of your cables, as mentioned before. You've got these two legs that open up so you can push this down. And there we go, pointing in the sun. All we've got to do is just connect the cables from the rear of the solar panel. So then all you need to do is just take your Anderson lead and then just plug that into the side. So the great thing is, is obviously we're charging off the solar panels right now and I'm actually charging my laptop off the power bank now. And now with a bit of sun, that's drawing 31 watts that is now. So there's plenty enough power for me to keep this going all day. So that 100 watt solar panel, that costs £109 and I'll stick a link to that in the description below along with the S300 power station as well. So thanks for watching this short little review. My name is Martin. I'm into my hiking, my fishing and bushcraft. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time on the next one.